So today, I'm going to show you how to rewrite linear equations into slope-intercept form. So in case you don't know, this is slope-intercept form. All right, It's an equation for a line, and it's called slope-intercept form because this equation, y equals mx plus b, tells you what the slope and the y-intercept are of the line. The m stands for the slope, so it's the number next to the x. And the number on the end here without the x next to it, there's your y-intercept. And the reason why you usually want linear equations in slope-intercept form is because they're easier to graph because you know where they cross the y-axis, you know the pattern of the points, so it's easy to put the graph together for it. Now, here's the funny thing. Not all linear equations look like this, but we can rearrange the equation to look like this using algebra so that we can graph it easily. Here's two examples. So this example here, 3y plus 5 equals 9x plus 17, actually is a linear equation, but it doesn't look like one. And from looking at it, we can't tell what the slope and y-intercept are, but we can use algebra to rearrange this to put it in slope-intercept form so we can figure out what the slope and y-intercept are. So let's do that. First thing you need to notice is slope-intercept form has y by itself on one side of the equal sign. So that's what we're going to do to this equation. We're going to get y by itself. Okay. So we've got 3y plus 5. We need to undo this plus 5, so I'm going to subtract 5. But what I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do to the other. All right. So when I do that, the 3y, we haven't done anything with it, so it just drops down. Plus 5 and negative 5, minus 5 undo each other. The equals drops down. On the other side, we've got 9x plus 17, but we haven't done anything with the 9x, so it drops down. But we did do something with the 17. 17 take away 5. That'll leave us with 12. All right, now we've almost got this in slope-intercept form, but notice we've got 3y equals this stuff. We want just y to equal that stuff, so we've got to undo that 3. Since we've got 3 times y, we're going to divide by 3. But what we do to one side, we have to do to the other, and we have to divide by 3 on the entire other side. All right, now when we do that, multiply and divide by 3 and do each other, but the y drops down, the equals drops down, and now when I divide this by 3, I'll do each piece. 9x divided by 3 is 3x, plus 12 divided by 3 is 4. And look what we have here. y equals 3x plus 4. This is in slope-intercept form. So that original equation, if I wanted to graph it, I know it would have a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of 3. And I could easily graph that. OK, so let's do another example here. 2x plus 5y equals 30. So again, we want y by itself. So I've got to undo everything around y. So I'm going to start by undoing this 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. OK, now the 2x's undo each other. But the 5y drops down. The equals drops down. Now on the other side, we've got a regular number, 30, and we're subtracting x's. Now we can't combine this. This doesn't equal 28 or 28x. We've got to keep them separate because these are x's and these are regular numbers. So I'm just going to keep this negative 2x there, and I'm going to keep this 30, this positive 30, separate right next to it, plus 30. Okay? So all I did was I just left them separately together. Okay? Now. I still need to find y, and right now it says 5 times y, so I'm going to divide by 5. What I do to one side, I have to do to the entire other side over here. Just like last time, I have to divide all of this by 5. Okay, so when I do that, the 5's undo each other, but the y drops down, the equal sign drops down. On the other side, I've got to, I have to divide everything over here by 5. I've got negative 2x divided by 5. Now, Negative 2 doesn't divide by 5 and get a whole number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it as a fraction. Negative 2 divided by 5 is negative 2 divided by 5, or negative 2 fifths. And then, of course, there's an x there. You see what I did there? Negative 2 divided by 5 is negative 2 fifths. Plus, 
30 divided by 5, which actually does come out to a whole number, it's 6. And if you look here, this is in slope-intercept form. y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 6. And actually, if you recall, graphing linear equations with a slope that's a fraction, it's actually easier to graph. So always try to keep it as a fraction. Don't turn this into like a decimal, like negative 0.4, because how do you graph negative 0.4? But if you keep it as a fraction, now you know your rise is negative 2, and your run is 5, and you can easily plot that out. All right? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.